and welcome to another week in our garden. It's a blustery, blustery old day today. We've had some heavy showers and the garden at the bottom is so wet now. I'm having a terrible job trying to get it dug. As soon as I get it drained a little bit, we have another rainstorm and then I have to wait again. But I am getting through it, but I'll show you that next week, the progress, etc. what we're doing there and there. This week we're going to plant up one of the troughs at the front of the cottage. Now what I'm doing, I'm going round the garden and the plants that I took out of the trough last year and the year before, I put in a little reserve border and this year we're going to reuse them so we can make a nice display but I'll show you that in a moment when we lift it. I've just lifted a red cordy line that I put in one of these reserve borders and we've got that ready so we'll go and get the conifers etc to go with it. Now even though we're having all this bad weather this fuchsia's continued to flower, it does flower late I can't remember the name of it again but it's always late and it always shows well. And very hardy, we never dig it up, we just leave it and let it get on. Now this is the little cordy line I've got. One or two leaves won't take off it, but it'll be fine. It'll enjoy it in the sunshine around the front of the cottage. Now this is my little reserve border where I tend to store some of the plants. It wants a good weeding etc, but once we've taken out what we need I'll revamp the soil and then perhaps in the spring we'll put them back again for another year. These are what we've raised from seed, the bellis, they want tidying up a little bit just before we plant them but they'll be fine. There's some sweet william there we can use. Now we did have quite a few pansies from seed as well but unfortunately we had them on this table and the last storm of the summer when it was warmer blew them all off so I've had to trim them all down and I've put them in the greenhouse to revamp them if you like and then we'll put those in perhaps in the spring or in the later later autumn when they've revived a little bit We'll lift these gold conifers. They have been used once in the front. I don't know if you can remember. They won't have a big root down. There you are. That's just nice. It's just breaking out. So we'll take five of those and we'll take all of that skimmia. We'll take all the skimmias and try and plant them all in. I'll just lift the skimmy and see what the roots are like on there. It's very sandy soil just here, so I know I'll be able to get them out quite easy. There you are, look. That's been in there a year, actually. You thought it'd grown a bit more than that. But as I say, it's very, very sandy. So it sort of holds them rather than makes them grow too much. So there was an odd leaf or two once taken out, but that's not a bad plant, we'll make a nice display with those. Right, I'll get these lifted and I'll get some compost out of the compost bin and I'll meet around the front and see what we can plant up. Now we've come round to the front of the cottage where we're going to plant this planter up and the sun seems to have gone in for a moment, it's quite chilly. Now, one of the advantages of living next to a forest is that we get lots and lots of leaves blowing in that I always vacuum up and then I put them in a builder's bag actually to fill a builder's bag every year with just the leaves that blow in so there's quite a few and I've been waiting for them just to dry out a bit because it makes vacuuming them up with the leaf blower a little bit easier not easy to do when they're wet but once they dry out a bit I'll have all this lot up. This is the trough we're going to plant up 
taken out the summer bedding and restored that away from for winter and now we need to plant it up with some of these hardy shrubs so we can have a nice display through the winter another thing to bear in mind is that we put a christmas tree here as well so it should look quite nice along the front come christmas the bulbs from last year i left in the bottom when i change the compost so we haven't got to worry about putting bulbs in if you want a display of bulbs make sure they're in you're a little bit late but you can still do it now I have actually top dressed it as well with compost out of the compost bin this is our own own compost that we've made in the compost bin and that's gone in as well so that'll refresh it for these plants we're going to put in. I'm thinking the cordyline needs to be in the centre towards the back so I just make a little bit of a hole. Be careful I don't go too deep because I don't want to disturb the bulbs in the bottom. This is it that we dug up you remember? Let's have a look. So we'll turn it the other way round wants to be a fraction deeper and then we'll take these leaves off when we're finished. I have to be careful then. That's better. And I'll just pack that soil with good compost around it. Nice and tight. You have to get them nice and tight because if the wind does blow, it will blow them out over the next few days while they're still putting the root down. I'll just take these leaves off that are not so good while I'm here and then save doing it later. Just cut them off, nothing, nothing stripping or anything like that, just cut them and then what's left will die back naturally. I think there's just one more there. But let's have a look how things are going to look. If I put a skimmier there, I could take those two in a little. I want them as a pair, I don't want one and one. So we'll space them out and have a look. Yes, I'm going to plant those in like that next. Nice and tight, remember, in this good, good old compost, it will soon the soon make it room. That one in towards that a little bit I think. That's better. Perhaps put one little bit back, one a little bit forward as well. Same again. That one. A little bit forward I think. And this one. We couldn't really get out to buy compost, so we have to use our own, but it's better to use your own if possible. Now I've got two small Ellswoody eye here, very slow growing these because there's hardly any roots, so they'll be sitting there quite happy. And I'm thinking one there and one there, just to give it a bit of colour, slightly to the back, because we want to get the Sweet Williams coming round as well. That's nice, to will do with that. And that one in there. I'm not putting no fertiliser in this because this is good good homemade compost so that'll be okay. Perhaps a little bit to the corner so it, it takes it round. This one will go in there. This one sort of there, corner in and that one there. Perhaps a little bit further in there I think. So that one can go to the corner more. 
Remember they stood up a bit now, but when they planted they'll be a lot further. Same place then. Make sure the nice the nicest view is from the front like that and then tighten that compost up. Nice plant that. Then we'll go there I think. Quite deep. We do want to see the little conifer at the bank. That's a little bit deeper. That's fine. Just move that. And then this one is just there. There's room, plenty of room. A little bit deeper so we can see the conifer peeping over. Get rid of that. Nice and tight. Next we'll put now this is what we've grown from seed obviously so there's the odd bit of leaf that's blown into them. They are a little bit taller so I'm actually going to put this whole tray six into that V shape there and then we'll put the others through. But they're a little bit taller so they'll be they'll be just the job. They was ready. And obviously with them being grown on that table they're perfectly hardy so they should be all right. This one that we'll put that one there, I think. We want one in there. This is a little bit taller so we'll put him back here. But I want to put <coughs> I want to place a bellis each side of that as well, so I'm holding that room and filling that up. Sweet worms, they will flower a little bit now, but the best, the best flowering will be to follow in the spring. A nice tall one here. Look. Second hand trays, look, they drop into bits. I think that will be the last use of that one. In the back, plenty of room back there. Just make sure it's well into that good compost there. And I think we want another one there. Yes, I think, I think the old tray's on its way out. If we pop this one here, it'll fill that up nicely. So you can see what's, how we're doing with it now. Now we need some ballast. Right, I'm going to put the ballast in the front there. We've spaced it out and I can get three in there. So we'll put the red one in the middle and then a white either side. Then the white will be put them well in. I like bellis, it, it will flower for oh, right till beginning of next summer once they start flowering. They never seem to stop, a very useful plant. Just pop them in for now, just push them in well. There you are. And this one. These leaves that are a bit tad, they soon either drop off or green up because they've been in these pots a while waiting as you can see they're well rooted and one in there and then I shall have to put a little bit more compost in because I've pulled the compost from the other sides that's fine they'll love it in there I'll just pop a bit more compost in there It's a shame we didn't have the pansies to put the pansies in as well because they would look very pretty in there but they'll be to follow probably. Now we've got some big sweet williams, well they're not big, they're in one litre pots and I'm going to pop those, one in there and one in this side 
and then we need some more sweet william or ballast to go round the end let's pop these in and see how they look don't forget these are very small at the moment they'll soon get growing they'll soon stretch up there you are look. sweet william There you go. It's going to look nice that is. Nice colours. We'll pop that in there look. You can just see it now but it will stretch. And we might just pop a ballast in there in a moment. I don't know if you can hear it but the wind's getting up. Something terrible will be covered in leaves in a short while. That's those in you see. Now if you put a ballast in there and the ballast in there and then we'll do the end we'll just put a couple in this end ballast so that as you come out the door or as you walk down the drive you'll actually see the plants not the end of the trough that's one and two i'll just tidy this one up a little not because it's got a dead leaf or two on it so this ballast will pop in here not oops i just moved that back down back again and then i'll have to put some more compost behind it to hold it for me. there you go big shovel full in there that's, low. that's done that nicely all the roots are now covered so and that'll pop through there lovely one more you can go in here it's a bit tight so i'll just make a hole with my hand and then in it goes and a little bit of compost just to make sure everything is nicely covered we'll just tidy up and I'll clean my hands and we'll show you the finished trough there it is then that's your trough planted up all perfectly hardy now I'll just tell you what we've got we've got these gold crest conifers in four of those We've got the skimmias there, nice and these are hold these flowers right through till spring and then they open into little white flowers. A couple of Ellswood conifers. These are small but they will grow quite big once they're out in the garden. But for now they're doing a good job. Cordyline, this is the red version. They say they're not quite so hardy, but these are three years old out in the garden so they're fine we've got the sweet williams dotted through always look nice look better in the spring when they really start to flower well and the bellis well we all know about the bellis or, or flower right through the winter and even more so in the spring now this side you just got a a copy of that side with the gold crest and the skimmias the sweet williams and then don't forget underneath all this you've got the daffodil bulbs the tulip bulbs all waiting to come through as well so it'll be a lovely display come spring but even saying that it doesn't look too bad for a winter display now that's the large trough done we have another one as you know that stands between the two lions which i will plant up more or less the same and so there's the front of the cottage will smile if you like through these cold mornings and as i said before perfectly hardy no problem at all the only thing we're not doing this year what we normally do is the hanging baskets we usually do a couple of winter baskets but I just haven't got the plants raised ready to do especially now I've lost my pansies for a bit if, if the pansies pick up we might do a late winter basket if they don't apologies but as I say if the pansies do pick up we might just pop some in here as well but we will show you what we've been up to the other job I've got to do today is when you've all gone and Diane's doing the video I've got to get the vacuum 
leaf blower vacuum out and get some of these leaves up because I don't want them on the floor here I want them down at my compost bins in the bag now that'll be it for this week we can't go down the garden it's far too wet the one lady wanted me to show the parsnips but I just can't get to them it's just too wet we will film early next week I do believe there's a little bit of a dry spell coming which will hopefully let the land drain a bit and we'll be able to get down there. But I need to get down there to get my digging done. It's, we're getting a bit behind. So that'll be it for this week. Many, many thanks for watching. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Do appreciate it. And take care everybody. And hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye now. <laughs>